<laughs> All right, here we are, brothers. Finally, it is time. This is going to be going up right after it's released. It came out a little late, if you're interested to know. Uh, I think they had a little problem with some Steam issues, but it is out now, and here we are. We are finally in Intravenous 2. For those longtime viewers who watched Intravenous 1 and are back for Intravenous 2 with The Fiend, welcome back. And if you're a new viewer, thank you for watching. Please be sure to leave a like, especially on these first videos, as it will tell YouTube that this series is something that people like and they want to watch. And especially if you like it, it, it helps a lot. So here we are. Without any further ado, we're going to jump right in. I have tested it a little bit to make sure it works, um, as you saw. And we're going to be playing as Sean here. A poor man turned conflicted hitman. And I, I'm going to basically summarize a lot of this, because uh, I don't think that Intravenous 2 or Intravenous in general uh, is very good at its uh, narrative. It's more like he, he sets up a plot line and it's very, very loose. Uh, it's just an excuse to kill people. Um, and, and I've tested the first level a little bit and I've read what the, what the whole story is. Uh, it's a little, it's a little weird. Not bad. It's just kind of off. Like the first guy's a scammer. So we're gonna we're gonna head on down here. And and that's not spoiling anything. He's just literally your your tutorial guy. I did the tutorial. So I'm spoiling the tutorial for you if you if you're really interested. But if you're interested in playing this game, you wouldn't be watching me. You'd be playing it. So this guy here is our buddy. Lee Du. Lee Da. I can't tell if it's a do or da because of the the text in this. Uh, but he's basically gonna offer offer us a job because empathetic our boy from the first game who we broke into this building and actually attacked uh, as Steve Steve was the first character and now we are Sean so uh, poor poor Sean here I'm gonna mix him up because they both start with us uh, he his dad is going blind his poor old dad is going blind and and this man Lee do is gonna give him a Lee da whatever give him a job kill this bastard uh, construction worker whose job it is to basically, or not really job, but really what he does is scam people by setting up fake constructions and so forth, and we are going to go and kill him. Uh, and essentially he's going to get spooked to the idea, which is odd, considering the only person to tell me, and oh, that guy works here. It's like a guard. So, it's just me and this guy here, so Maybe he is the, the leak here. Alright, so he's just telling me the details that he's in a mansion. If you want to read all of that stuff, I may come back in the future to do that. Or there are plenty of channels who do that. I, I am not interested in all of that. It's a lot. Like I said, he is a great game developer. And the game is fantastic. It's phenomenal. But uh, not really into the huge lines of text. He had to do two different dialogues there. As I cough a little bit. Uh, just to say, let me open my door. When he could have just put it over the uh, the screen here as well. And like that. Uh, yes, everybody who is a normal, rational human being when they enter their house uh, speaks out loud. <laughs> just, ah, I'm so happy to be home. No, I'm just kidding. I'm giving him a hard time because I really do like this game. If I don't, if I don't like something, I won't, I won't give it a hard time. I've been very excited. So yeah, this guy, someone spilled the beans, and now he's got some some thugs with him. So we're gonna, we're gonna go and get a pistol, and we're gonna shoot him in the face. That's how this goes. Okay. I thought, I thought it was gonna make me. Okay, so that's annoying. See what I mean when I say like. He just says, like, ah, I gotta go find the keys. Instead of the, the text that's on the screen as well. But it's a learning opportunity for everybody. Always. Always a learning opportunity. So we don't have money and we don't have any research or uh, technology for all this stuff, I guess. Like, we have to find it, really. It's not technology. I'm so used to playing Solid 6. Uh, and we're gonna get the S&W 4575, which is a 45 ACP pistol sidearm and we have an hsr emp gadget which is basically a uh something or other i don't even know what to call this thing it's kind of like an emp pistol and um, i guess if you could shoot it at a light fixture maybe it'll turn it off no i don't know what it does 
I haven't used it yet. Uh, and you also have slow-mo and you have all kinds of other cool stuff. So there's a lot of stuff. Uh, and yes, this guy. He's in it for his day at his poor old day. His pa. He's going blind. It doesn't really specify, though. Maybe he has cataracts. Alright. We're going in. Um, if you want to know the context of Sean's character, he is technically interested only in getting his dad out alive. Uh, I had considered briefly playing this game by how he might feel. But then I realized that I'm a man and I'm going to play it how the fiend would feel. Just killing people. Alright, so we're going to pick these locks. Get up behind this guy. Give him the old one two good night. Oops, I didn't mean to didn't mean to bump into him. So there is a new situation with the uh, carrying and maneuvering, which is going to take some time to get used to. Um, not my my favorite, to be honest. Okay, let's get this let this guy go by. Basic issue is that when you're walking or doing anything. It puts the weapon first over the guy a lot of times. So you're accidentally gonna get him. Or his weapon first, I mean. Oh, nice. Some money. So it's kind of important to search the map. Especially as there's some good stuff that can be hidden around it. Oil it. Sorry for all the cuts, by the way. For some reason, on my end, it, it appears to have some kind of visual bugs, but shouldn't be displaying them on the recording, which is fantastic. Uh, I, I put that up to the fact that it is a pretty beefy game for what it's worth. All these little light sources everywhere. Alright, so we're getting closer. We've killed five people now. With a nice old stomps the head. How that guy didn't see me? Well, he saw me when I ran there. Oh, damn. We only have the 11 bullets because we switched guns. I was like, where's my ammo? I just wanted to make sure I have the ammo necessary to actually fight these guys. Thought I'd hit them with the shotgun that close, but they kind of backed off when I got there. Oh, that was good. Compromising materials. Nice. They can be pretty small. Let's make sure we look closely. Blast him. Alright, we're here to kill you. Yeah, all these people just are fucking dumbasses, buddy. That's all. You shouldn't have said anything. You need to talk to him. Dumbass. I didn't even realize he technically has like windows, but he barricaded them up. Now let's get the heck out of here. We'll leave through the front door. Anybody else out here? 
want some. Oh, come on. I feel like there's gonna be somebody over here now. All right. That was his third hit jab. All right. He's trying to justify his terrible actions by saying that he is a good guy, in fact, not a bad guy. All right, so we're gonna kill a politician. Oh, I guess that's fair. Is that empathetic? No, it's Gideon. I know Gideon. He was from this. He was from the version of mercantilism or whatever. Struggling to earn minimum wage, Sean. If you throw your moral bullshit out the window, you'd make as much money as you wanted. Yet you're here taking a grand stand. Oh, so we don't like each other. He's here to get his money. Fuck you, you little bitch. Afraid of spilling a little blood? Why are you even here? Uh, well, he's crazy. That's part of the problem, Sean. Most people aren't very, very normal when they commit contract killings. I don't know what you expected, brother. Alright. Let's, let's get going. Let's do this. Alright, we're at the gunsmith. Let's get a gun from the gunsmith here. He looks like a fine fellow. See what I mean when I say that the, to the com comments are kind of pointless? Here, let me toss my threaded barrel and silencer on the house, buddy. You deserve it, after all. You're a good guy. What do you want me to do? Get a computer learning engineer in there and spend my time reaching? Which, like, see, like, bruh. I think it's because the developer is a real big fan of those types of games. But good lord. Okay. So we have $3,000. I don't want to spend anything. So, I'm gonna just keep the gun that we have get our micro uzi that's fine it's easier to get money and guns by killing people gunsmith is a pretty interesting looking fellow here steve's place wait steve this is not the same steve no this is this is the uh, creep sex trafficker, Steve. Bro, you can't call him Steve. Wait. No, it is Steve. Steve. Steve? Put on the ball claw? We're already Steve again? I didn't think we were going to be good old Stephen. Are we having a, b a bad nightmare? Oh no. Steven, me boy. Steven, me boy, you look so fucking beat up since I last seen you, buddy. You look... You don't even look the same anymore. What the fuck happened, bro? Oh my god, dude, he looks like a junkie after four years. Politician's house. So wait. Sean, doubt I'll run into any civilians. Just a bunch of bodyguards. Time to put this guy out of his misery. Holy shit balls. Okay. So I take it back. I think the narrative is really good here. I think that the issue isn't that the narrative is bad. I think that it's... That he just kind of over... Is over verbose. But... That's not a bad problem, and I actually, I like it, I like it. I just think that it's not, not very conducive for me to sit here and read it. Especially, I'm not the best, uh, with reading. I am good at reading, but not out loud. So, we are in this, and Steve 
just put his balaclava on and... Oh, okay, so they've got radios on these guys, too, so he is no... Well, of course, because he is actually a politician, so it would make sense for him to have some actual, like, real security. It also appears like... Oh, I like that. I like the way his body just moved there. I think I threw away the mag. Yeah, I threw away those two bullets. Okay, so we cannot go around that way. It's a terrorist attack, and you're getting... You're taking part in it. I did not see them coming through that side door there. I did not know they were just going to continue doing that. Wait, is that the front entrance key card right there on that specific guy? Oh my god. So what's the key card I picked up? I didn't think he saw me. Yeah, there we go. We have a lot more 9 mil. Okay, so it's because they have body armor on. That they can even survive those hits there. Alright, I'm picking, I'm picking it up. He's got quite a few security guards, but it's better to get into those engagements from a distance. Okay, we can't go that way. Lots of rich people in their damn hedge mazes. I want him to, like, get out from where he is so that in case somebody comes up from beneath me. Yeah, we could do that. Bodies really need to get adjusted in this regard because I always pick them up or the wrong thing I want to get the key card nope I get the body I want to get the body nope you get the pistol that's why stealth in this game although recommended is not what I like I may as well just go tactical and shoot people Also, I figured out what that is. That's our inhaler. That's our, our slow-mo inhaler there. Which I will probably use about twice throughout this entire game. Check all our bases to make sure we don't miss any potential cashola. Okay, put your hands up, you creep. Yeah, I'm out there shooting people. Uh-oh. So we may have gotten set up. Bitch, shut up! Your husband's at gunpoint. Oh, so we actually have levels there. Physical... Level there, too. Unlocked. There's potentially a gun on this level, and I have to get it. Alright. We're good. We're out of here. Somebody set him up. And we need to find out who. Alright. Oh, uh, bro. You are very confident for a person who just tried to assassinate a politician that was obviously a setup that you really just fell for, and then you are going to go home to your house and go to sleep. Uh... Does that make sense? Hey, Sean. Who's this? I just wanted to congratulate you on a job well done. Huh? Quit playing stupid. You know what you did, haven't you? Watch the news. Go on, turn the TV. Have a look at your fantastic work. So... I can already see my boy Steve 
My boy Steve got him. I was going to say, yeah, uh, protective custody to prevent any third parties from inflicting any potential harm. Oh, I guess that... No, he didn't. Oh, they took his dad. But, like, why? Why Sean, of all people? Oh, okay, so now I'm putting the pieces together. Basically, what happened was this guy that we were supposed to do the job for is now pissed off. He's like, oh, did you see that the fucking guy you were supposed to kill is not dead? You weren't supposed to have emotions. Bruh, why can't I move? Oh my god. Oh, it's in the... Oh, it's on the table there. Like, why take his dad and then come after him, though? Why are you asking about my neighbor's brother? Okay, so we have to go and ca capture the guy that kidnapped our father, of course. Well, that, that's what happens when you get your life in, into a world of crime there, Sean. Mob corporate fun. Alright, this is going to be the last part of the episode. Oh, 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 time to get back in the groove of things. Yes, perfect ending. Wait, why does this feel like the same? Hello, gents. Why are you carrying this shitty pistol, brother? I thought we were the I thought we were the Lord. Steve doesn't use drugs. I can't shoot him when he's on the ground, that's kind of ridiculous. No. Steve is pissed. You guys remember what you did to his dog? What the? F Was I missing? I guess so. Beavis. Remember the name. Remember the name of Stevis? Remember who I was? From the first game. One of the most crazy sons of bitches you've ever seen in your entire life. Limited only by the amount of ammo I have. The rage I have. It's not ending. Anyone else want some? I need the money stash keycard. You knew from the moment I stepped in the room, this is what was coming for you. I don't know what you did to piss me off, but it's Steve time. The Stevening is here. I promise you. The Stevening is here. 
Why did I give that guy 10 bullets? Because... Now, my question is, does the money get shared between them? Obviously, it shouldn't. But I hope... that it's not for nothing. I, I, I understand that there's two characters, but it's kind of confusing. That's, what? What's Sean all about in this? We need a storage room key, we need all these damn keys. I don't know how that guy survived those couple bullets to the back of the head, but that's fine, sure. Okay. I'd really like to get into that room, sir. Oh! Jesus! <laughs> what? <laughs> Should've put that gun to the back of his head. He should've been dead. Time to give him what, what Steve's made of. Oh, so we're not going to be enemies. We're going to be bros. Going to be ultimate bros. Why do I got to find it? Oh, I guess that makes sense, though. So, like, however Steve left it is just how this guy, Sean, is going to find it. Like, what the heck happened here? Yeah, exactly was something here. Oh, one, only one man did all this? Steve, me boy! Steve has lost it. Steve is like, oh, finally I have a real purpose again. <laughs> Someone's kidnapped your dad? I've got you. Steve something tore up God knows how many mouths. Now nah, you got the wrong guy. I'm just a nobody. I'm Steve the Craghead now. Wait, don't tell me there's going to be a mechanic where you get to play between. <gasps> oh. Oh my god! I take back everything I ever said about him in this game. It is everything. We have Steve! And it's in the intro too that I just thought that was decorative. We got Steve! Can I hurt him though? No! <laughs> Steve! <laughs> Alright, let's get back out of here. I, <laughs> I should have tested a little less aggressively, but... Oh, we, we didn't search for the... Uh... I like that he has the keycard. Or maybe not. No, I guess that little red marker is just Steve. Anyone else out here? We got Steve with me. We got Steve here. Not fucking playing around anymore. Oh my god, brothers. Cannot wait for the next part. Be sure to check it out and leave a like, like I said at the beginning of the video. It helps out a ton. And be ready for another video soon. Goodbye.